Hi, welcome to our animation. As I promised, in this video, I will rig the structure. Additionally, I have done another rig, which might be useful in a different setup. Since it is not that stretching and not that distorting, it also provides curving to the left or right using path constraints. I will delete the rig now so we can build it from scratch. So instead of starting from beginning, I will save some time and already uh, start from arranged setup and uh, bones at the tip of each joint. Uh, this is how I bound all the meshes. Nothing complicated. So here is how it works. And all that is placed inside this container. So next thing, we want to create one bone. This will be our I key. Let's select it and create I key constraint. Select the bone. So target is generated at the tip of it. Make it stretchable and compressible. Select all these bones and put them inside this newly created I key bone. We need to avoid scaling this. So let's select these bones and uncheck rotation and scale inheritance. Great, it's almost there. So it has one issue. If you rotate it, you can see that base is also um, uh, raising from the ground. We don't need that effect. Maybe it's fine with your setup, but let's also consider one way when it is actually attached to the ground or some platform. So for that, we'll have the same setup for this Ike, but on the left and right. I will create two bones. And similarly, create an Ike for them, stretch and compress. Stretch and compress. Now we need to put the bones on the left edge to this IK bone and bones on the right to the right edge. Let's delete this one. We don't need that anymore. And now let's try to move it. So you can see in this way we have this um, structure attached to the ground nicely. It has some issues. It's, it's not like perfect, like um, rods are not solid. They are stretching. It's not fully correct. So one issue that we can fix is when it compresses, if the rods are made from solid material, the structure would expand. First, I will create a center bone and maybe put them here. So, what we basically want to do when it scales down, take the scale of this bone or this bone and apply it to this bone. So, it, it will be scaling like this a little bit. We don't want to apply the full scale. So, for that, we can select this bone and create transform constraint and select these bones, any of these bones. You can see they are disabled. I can't select them. The reason for that is uh, all the bones are placed inside this container bone. So there is no way we can create a um, transform constraint on any children bone. But what we can do is select the root and create a bone that will actually take the scale value from any of this bone using constraint. Let's hit match. And I think the X value of the scale should be the one. Yeah. So I have the scale coming here. What I can do now, select this container and create another constraint. Now I'm taking from this bone and transferring to this bone. And it should be the pretty much the same X value. But the important thing is here is that this bone is actually horizontal. This is where we actually flip the scale value. So let's um, scale it down and see. Yeah, maybe it, 
minus 30 works fine. And this is it. We have the structure working properly. Uh, it has one issue right now that I don't think we can fix that it's the joints are uh, sliding off. You can see it, they are not perfect. But if this is a small structure in the game, it might work, especially if the materials are, are a little bit stretchy. It, it really can work. And the other rig is more realistic and properly constructed. Maybe with more eye keys or... Um, but I think the complexity is similar. Uh, it's also easy to build. So let's also build this one. Actually, I will separate this second part and share it only with our supporters. So they also get some special value. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for the next video and join our Discord server to share your ideas and get quick help.